Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so you guys have got to excuse, first of all, my hair. Nothing, nothing new there. There's always a bad hair day when I'm filming a video. Nothing I can do about it. But you're also going to have to excuse the lighting. It just got super dark super quickly and it is still daytime. I don't know what just happened. I think there's going to be a really gnarly thunderstorm that's about to happen. So I'm going to try and film this very quickly. All right, let's get started. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my BoxyCharm to share with you guys. It was like Christmas morning today because I got my BoxyCharm and I got another little package in the mail. Um, well, it's not little by any means, but um, I waited a long time for this package and I will be filming a video of that right after this. So um, make sure that you guys stay tuned. But um, yeah, I wanted to film my BoxyCharm real quick for you guys. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't wanna miss out, especially for my next video. I'm really, really excited. So the theme for this month is called Spellbound. In case you didn't know, BoxyCharm always has these little themes for their boxes. Um, and before I forget, I do have a code or a link or something for BoxyCharm. I think it saves you like a percentage on your box. I don't know if I get anything. I may get points or something. I'm not even sure. Either way, I'm not sponsored by BoxyCharm at all. Just wanted to let you guys know because I literally always forget to tell you guys, but it's there. So uh, let's go with the first item in the box, which is by Glow Recipe, and it is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, and it retails for $34. Um, it says it will help with glow and brightening, which is all very great. Uh, I really love this packaging, though. I think it's the cutest packaging. This, like, color is so delicate and gorgeous and the shape of the bottle i love it let's see it's like a little pump i have yet to use this because as i said i just got the box oh it does it does kind of smell like watermelon oh that's actually very refreshing i like that very light and delicate so pretty wow i can't wait to use this um i will definitely let you guys know of course in the description box or on my instagram make sure you're following me on there because that's where i do most of the updates for skincare and all that so i will let you guys know what i think about this next we have this item by julep it is the makeup remover towelettes you get 60 towelettes this claims to not only remove your makeup but also refine your pores with the witch hazel which is actually pretty cool i haven't used makeup wipes in a long time so that's pretty nice. Let's give these a smell. Ooh. Oh wow, that smells so good. That smells like a perfume. I wish it had the scent on here. Wow, that smells really nice. If you're sensitive to scents though, be careful with this. I will probably use this either at the end of this video or either on my Instagram. Again, I'll let you guys know. Um, but wow. That smells really good. I would want this as a perfume. I don't know about my skincare items having such a strong smell, but it smells really good. And this retails for $20. Next, we have this item by Tint Beauty, and it is the Lash and Brow Duo. It retails for $29. This product is actually pretty interesting because it has your brow gel and your mascara all in one, and it's perfect for traveling. I actually did use the brow gel on my brows, and I did feel like it filled in my brows a little bit more, and um, typically I go for a clear brow gel, um, but this, uh, I'm glad that it matched my eyebrow hair because that is the worst thing when your eyebrows are like a totally different color um, to your eyebrow gel. But uh, yeah, it did match and I do like it. The only thing is, like if I really want to be nitpicky about this, is there's a lot of product that comes out and I don't know if the stopper is broken, but you know, you, you just... Just be careful because like as soon as i pull it out there's a lot of product on there and um you don't want to just glop it on <laughs> your brows like that so uh just be careful with that but uh it did 
like combed down my eyebrow hairs very nicely and they're behaving quite well with the eyebrow gel on there and then on the other end we have our mascara and this is what the wand looks like it was actually a pretty good mascara um, i like that it's little because it's very nice for your bottom lashes the mascara itself is more of a lengthening mascara it's very good for lengthening and separating but it did not really volumize my lashes which is what i typically go for but um, again i will probably be using this for my bottom lashes for sure because i really liked how easy it was to just get in there with that tiny like smaller brush you know but um yeah, it was not bad. I actually really like this, especially with me starting to travel a little bit more. This will be really great because it's just like a two-in-one. Just put it in your makeup bag and go kind of item. So I really like this. The next item is by Jelly's Beauty and it is the Wing Stamp Eyeliner and it retails for $22. This kind of freaked me out because literally last week, last week I was in a hotel and I was trying to do my wing liner and it was just an absolute mess and I was like I really need to get one of those stamping eyeliners because this is just starting to get like on my nerves I can't do this because I don't know like when you're in time crunch and then you have to do like a wing liner chaos ensues so it, I'm very excited that I got this because it is one of those stamping eyeliners and you literally just stamp this little triangle on each side and it does only come with like one side like this because the other side is a felt tip liner which i really like as well so this one can be used for both sides you just flip it over i have seen the stamps where you use one for the left eye specifically and one for the right eye for specifically but um this is like like a straight up just triangle so it works it's not curved or anything i did use this today but I did have to use a gel liner over it, um, mainly because the eyeshadow that I used, I really, really packed it on. So this had a little bit of trouble appearing on that like packed on eyeshadow. And also because I was a little scared because I did create a wing with my shadow and I wanted this wing to line up with it. And so I was like barely pressing down. I was, was kind of nervous about that but um even with me barely pressing down it did create a guideline for me so i was easily able to create a wing which is so great i'm definitely going to give this another try when i don't have eyeshadow on and because that's how i usually wear winged liner i don't bother with eyeshadow but wow i'm so excited that i got this in the box i mean i, I still can't believe i was literally thinking about this and i got it in this one's box and the uh Felt tip liner is actually very nice, very precise. I love how skinny the tip is. That is amazing. Helped me go right in the inner corner of my eye. And um, I also love how chubby the marker is. It's easy to hold. So I really, really like this product as well. So far, so good. On to the last item in the box and possibly my favorite item which is crazy because so far everything's been amazing. I have the Ace Beauty Falling For You palette and it retails for $34.99. First of all, the packaging, all the fall feels gorgeous. And then we have the inside, comes with a mirror and these are the eyeshadows. The other eyeshadows, I mean, they, they all look great, okay? But these two drew me in as soon as I opened the palette, I was just like, what? I don't know if they're picking up on camera as I mean, like, they're amazing in person. Wow. I just love these two colors. And I feel that the placement is really great because this, sitting next to this, makes this, um, like, bright orangey red pop out even more. And typically when I do a review on an eyeshadow palette, I try to use as many eyeshadows as I can. But this time, I was just like, I was so drawn to just these two eyeshadows. I was just like, let me just give them their moment and that is what i did i only used those two shadows for this look i mean i, I don't know about the look i, I mean i think i like it but these eyeshadows they're gorgeous these colors I i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with these colors um this is called candy corn and this is called cider the names of these eyeshadows are very interesting like for example this one this really beautiful pink is called apple 
and I don't I don't know how I feel about brands doing that. It's, just, it's very confusing. But anyways, these two shadows were absolutely amazing. I love this color combination. <sighs> wow. Absolute wow. I have gotten Ace Beauty and BoxyCharm before and I really love their products. And they seem to be pretty affordable as well. Um, $34.99 is not that bad, especially with all of, like the very, very high-end eyeshadows. I mean, I've tried some really high-end eyeshadows and they don't even compare. So um, yeah, this was amazing. Let me do some quick swatches for you guys. Those are four of the shadows right there. Wow, oh my gosh, that pink. Wow, that is so gorgeous. I, wow, and so pigmented. I love this pink. This is absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> Definitely going to be keeping this palette. Wow. Um, I am so impressed, super impressed with this month's box. <laughs> Each month, uh, I've been trying to be a little more picky with the box because I'm trying to decide if I need to cancel BoxyCharm once and for all. But this box made it so hard because I literally loved everything. This was a good box. This is the, No, this was a great box. Well done. Well done, BoxyCharm and Ace Beauty. That, that palette though, wow. If I absolutely had to choose a favorite item, wow, that's hard. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd have to go with the palette, but I mean, literally everything. I mean, aside from the uh, little skincare product, which I haven't tried yet, but everything else, wow, wow. I'm just, I'm blown away. Alrighty guys, so that is it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.